Miles Kennedy, the frontman, singer, and one of the guitar players from the band Alter Bridge. In my opinion, one of the most underrated guitar players that there are, that there is even out, out there, because he's such a good singer as well. And I feel like because he's such a good singer, his guitar playing sometimes can go unnoticed or unthought of by people. However, he is an absolute beast at the guitar. This guitar lesson is all about, from watching and listening to Alter Bridge, all about the best, the best thing that I feel I've taken away from uh, what I feel like Miles Kennedy does on the guitar. And I've been really looking forward to sharing this one with you as well. Alter Bridge are one of my favorite bands and I've seen them live many times. Okay, so it's basically, in a nutshell, learn to sing. And that doesn't mean learn to sing like Miles Kennedy. And it doesn't mean learn to become a professional frontman or be the best singer in the world. It basically means learn to sing a melody or hum a melody over the top of a chord progression and try and work that memory out. So they, that mem melody out even, that melody out. Um, try and work it out. So this is actually really good for your ear training as well on the guitar, which I feel is something that people should work on more than anything. Ear training is essential in my opinion. You cannot be a good ear. If you've got an ear where you don't have to rely on tabs, you don't have to rely on notation, I just feel like personally you cannot beat that at all. Um, right, so it's basically take a chord, play it, try and hum a melody over it. And I feel that is why Miles Kennedy has got such melodic playing. The guy can shred, by the way. He is an absolute beast of a player. However, he underplays a lot. And it's because, personally, I feel that he goes for melody over speed, which I all day long would also do that. What's the point in having speed if the, there's no melody there with it? So I feel like when there are solos in Alter Bridge songs, Mark Tremonti does a lot of the speedy stuff and Miles Kennedy does a lot of the melodic style solos. Um, so an example, let's say I uh, chimed a chord out, tried chiming out a chord. Uh, so I'm gonna take this A minus seven chord. And then just ad-lib something over the top of it with your mouth or hum it. La da da da, la da da da, la da da da. La da da da. Try and find those notes on the guitar one at a time. La. Uh, root note. Found it. La da. Minor third. La da 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 and then I had on the end like a da da la da 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 and then add something in dynamically where you can create a little bit more feel into it as well. So I found the melody, and then add some like hammers and slides on, or find a different way of playing it to make it feel more nice and comfortable and flowing. And there you go, you've got a, a solo melody straight away for your chimed chord. La da 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 da. And then let's see. Da 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 da.
first note. Da 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 da. And a nice little slide on the end of that last note as well for it. So in total over your chord progression now, you've got two melody, melo, melodies. I could change it a bit. So play, play with kind of expressive things that you can do on the guitar as well to see if there's kind of like a way you can put more feel into it. And create, basically, a solo out of it using your voice initially and you'll find it's actually quite easy to find the notes. There's 12 notes on a guitar, so if you sing a note and you don't find it straight away, go to the note below or above. And if it's still not that one, go to the low note below or above that and keep going until you find it. So say I sing a note that's like, la, and I want to find that, just start at any note, la, and keep, and keep going with that note up or down until you find it, la, la, and there it is, la. You can find any note you want. It's going to be one out of 12 notes. Um, so yeah, the best lesson I feel I learned from studying Miles Kennedy's lead guitar playing technique, and I feel it will benefit anyone because it's going to work on your ear, is utilize your voice. Think of the guitar like a voice to find and create melody within your playing. I hope that helps you, and if you want any tips at all, or you've got anything that you could share about Miles Kennedy, Miles Kennedy's um, guitar playing technique that you want to share with people, pop it in the comments below. If you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be amazing. I've, I'm always sharing lesson content, because it's just what I love doing, sharing the knowledge of the instrument and music in general. If you could like the video as well, that'd be amazing. I'll catch you guys in another video. Keep on rocking.